just as an example, I will um, show it here. So you have the uh, histogram, you will go through the bands, and you will probably see now in the fourth band you have, you have some information over here you cannot see quite clearly. And this is due to the behavior of that island. So if you're having that, you can do you can do two possible things. First of all, delete the selected uh, selected signature. Second part, you can arrange the points of the polygon to not to fit um, or not covering this small island, or you will just drag it over here. Right, so and so you have your island as well. So once again, but now we will replace the current signatures with the AOI. Nope, oh, I've not marked it over here. So once again, replace, please. And first of all, you, you may argue, okay, I'm not interested in six possible classes of 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 lakes. I um, just want to have one class containing all the water bodies. Therefore, you will just um click and drag over the class numbers over here you will mark every class number and using the merge selected signatures will give you an um, accumulation or an accumulated class number seven you can use the name water here and delete or delete all the other uh, signatures so We can also check the uh, area we have covered with our signatures in the feature space, and this is quite useful if you want to um, check the distinction of several classes. So, therefore, we will create a new, we will create a new feature space, and we will just use the band number three against band number four. We'll output it to a viewer. Say okay, okay, yeah, please. And you can see it takes the time. Okay, here's a feature space, and using this feature space, we can mask our image to the feature space. So we'll have the feature space number two, and we will apply that. Okay, hold on for a second. Cool, um, because I've just copied the raster file to another location, but the raster itself remains the same. So, looking over here, you will find all the um, pixels regarding the positions to the bands number three against band number four. You will have this here, and we can also um, no, use the blend and swipe tool to concentrate on the position of these pixels. So we will have some uh, water bodies in this area. Uh, these are the shallow water bodies and we'll have the really dark water bodies over here. And there were some pixels in these positions, probably some kind of um, islands or trees or I don't know. So, um, but this is quite a good solution for the first class named water bodies. We will go ahead, just leave this open, and we will create now signatures for another class. And this class is a little bit difficult because we will uh, concentrate on fields. As you can see here we have two or three major types of fields. So we'll have this um, very bluish fields, then this greenish ones, and also you can probably see it here um, due to the geometric metrical setup um, that these are fields maybe as well, but they can also be uh, some kind of grasslands. So we'll have three possible field types and I will just create a feature uh, an AOI here for this very bluish one create a new one then over here another one and as you can see sometimes it's not very easy to find um, was wrong. Um, 
yeah, and sometimes it's not very easy to find good areas for your yeah, areas of interest. So this is another maybe. And once again, check this. Go ahead, we'll just merge it now for showing you. And so this is field number one. Delete selection. And now just want to show you the main problems maybe. So I'm content or I'm making another AOR here from the second field type. It's a greenish one. Field type number two, and once again, please remember not to use only one area of interest, but uh, several ones. So, uh, what I'm doing now is just for the presentation here, and it's not way of good work. So, and we are also having um, this is Berlin again. We will have here the urban centers. So, if you're just looking, you cannot concentrate on maybe one pixel. So, this is all urban area. And we will just mask this area here, just leave this tiny park outside and create a new signature file from this. So this is once again, and this is urban area. And as you can already see, you will have from the field number 2 and the urban area um, nearly the same color in the band combinations 4, 3 and 2. So you can check again. Um, using the statistics tool, but you can also mask these two and create a, um, a plot of field number two and urban. So there are just tiny differences between this both both our signatures, the more the highest amplitude you will find in the fifth and the seventh band for these both signatures. So we, what does it mean? It means that we can sur surely uh, identify um, differences in the band combination five, uh, 5 and 7. So we can create a special feature space for that by using supervised stack and band number 5 against band number 6. Just B, not to get in conflict with the, with the, uh, with the name of the files. And we can also use masking this in a feature space that is already open and we can indicate the overlap by choosing a special color for that. So maybe just using color white apply. And 